Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply an audio effect to an entire track in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we have here is a rough edit of a bunch of different tracks thrown together, but let's say we wanted to apply one effect to all of these tracks right here, everything in the A1 track. Well, of course, we could go down to effects and we could try, you know, grabbing something crazy like the pitch shifter, highlight everything and then drag and drop. And OK, so now pitch shifter is on all of these. The problem is, what happens if we wanted to adjust it? Like, let's say we wanted to make the individual params, uh, the transpose rate, we wanted to make it 1.6. Well, the problem is that now if I go over here, you'll notice that it is reset to the 1. And I'd have to do this for every single clip. I'd have to sort of add this manually. You know, I could maybe create one and hit Control C V. But what if I wanted to change it down the road? What if I wanted to make it 0.8 down the road? I would have to redo every single one of these. So we could do something else. So let's undo this addition. You'll see that they all go off right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the track mixer. So this is the clip mixer right here. We don't want to use this one. What we want to use is the track mixer. If it isn't open or you can't find it, go up to window, go down to the audio track mixer and click on opening it. And you'll see that there's this check mark box over here. That's because the sequence currently is called whatever my first piece of footage was. So like if we right click on this, and then we just you know go up into rename, just name this uh, main sequence like so, you'll notice that now this is the audio track mixer for the main sequence. So we can open one up per sequence. What we want is the one for this sequence. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see this sort of rack up here where we can put different things. If we go down to the bottom right here, you'll see A1, A2, A3, Master. And you'll also notice down here A, A1, A2, A3, Master. So these are the the clips or the tracks that we can work with. So if we apply an effect to this left one, it's going to apply it to the entirety of A1, middle one A2, third one A3. If we add a track down here, let's say we put a zero here, so it's just video track, it's going to create another one right there. So now we want to do the same thing. We want to add the pitch shifter in. So if we go into our effects, we can click on it and we can actually, uh, you see that it won't let us drag it up here. That's because we're actually going to have to drop it down here. So if we go into here, you'll go down to the time and pitch and pitch shifter is right here. We can go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that it has added it to this effect. Now you'll also notice that the little dial down here has come uh, up so that we can actually adjust that transpose rate. So like I was saying, if we pitch shift this up to 1.6, let's bring it right around what we wanted right there. Now this entire track is pitch shifted up. And we can of course, adjust it a little bit later on, you can hear that little sort of Let's maybe go to this one right here. And now if let's uh, let's drag this so it's really low sound. And now listen again. So you can hear I'm applying it to the entire track. No matter what clip I'm on, this effect is going into the entirety right here. And of course, I can add different effects onto here. I could add like, let's say, uh, reverb, studio reverb, and I can click on that and then sort of go through and adjust all the different points in here. So what you do if like, let's say if I want to do early reflections, you click on that and then there's the dial or that uh, decay high frequency cut, and you can just sort of click on the different ones and then adjust it like you would in the effect controls. Except now what we've done is we're applying it to the entire uh, A1 track down here. And it's simple, it's easy to do, and it's going to be uh, it's a great way to you know apply effects to all of these. So that's all you need to do. All you have to do is open up that audio track mixer, go up here, find your effect, add it in, then adjust it how you'd like. And it's going to be applied to the entire track down here. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and open the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products, sort of focusing on Premiere Pro and After Effects. And until next time, guys, see ya.